All right, guys, hopefully the wind's not too bad. Here's what we got going on today. So, I made these tree baskets out of laundry baskets in my hybrid oats. These are the ones I keep telling you about. Boy, they look really good. But, we want to get baskets around them. I already got, that's the second one I got done. And I'd have more done, but I'm always keeping an eye on those two idiots over there. Dumb and dumber. But anyway, so you see where that orange flag is there. That's a beautiful oak right there. And then that orange flag there. But anyway, we're just uh, making those, look at that wind, boy. Anyway, we're making those tree baskets or, you know, to, just to protect them a little bit. Um, we're hoping to bring the deer in and uh, so far we haven't had any problems, but we don't want to have problems. Spent a lot of money on these oaks uh, a few years back. I think this is the third season, maybe. But um, we'll get down there and show you the walnuts here in a minute, too. They look really good. Uh, we won't probably bask at those. Um, I don't have as much invested in them. And again, so far, nobody's bothering them. I just, uh, these, uh, these oaks are really, I'm really excited about them. So anyway. Hopefully the wind's not too bad, but we'll uh, we'll give you some updates here on what we're doing. Uh, but uh, it's pretty much just maintenance. All right, folks, see that? See that? We're finally getting some switchgrass to come up. It's few and far between, but it is coming. Today, we're looking at... I got rained out of work and I'm pretty broken hearted about it. I'm sure you can tell. But uh, today we're going to do some seeding of our buckwheat. Um, so this little section that I got right here, I'll turn you around. So from about where the lawnmower is, you just follow the wood line around. That's a little hill there. You see that orange flag there? That's kind of my boundaries where the switchgrass is. So I want to stay out of there. But, having said that, and I follow that uh, wood line all the way out to that point right there. And then back around the other side, it follows the wood line again back around. It's gonna be about a total. So this is roughly one full acre. So um, we're gonna seed this today real quick um, before it rains. And then uh, if I get a chance, I'll come over with a cultipacker that you guys watch me build and fail and build and fail and build and fail. And I think I got it built now. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, beautiful weather. It's a little cool. You can tell I got my hoodie on. But, um, yeah, it's supposed to be raining off and on. And it's going to be storming tomorrow, I guess. So we want to get out here and get this on the ground. So it has the best opportunity to survive and overtake uh, I noticed some weeds are coming back here that I don't want so probably not right now because again we got rain coming but I think I'm gonna come in here and spot spray some of the worst parts um, I either missed it before or it came in after I sprayed either way we'll come back in here and give her a spray in. but I'm feeling a few sprinkles so we better get to trucking we want to get this done so uh be briefing you in a little bit bye all right guys so the first part of this video is going to be from the last weekend uh i totally forgot to upload it but that's fine it was short so it'll blend right in we got uh rained on about the time i got finished with that first section i showed you now it stopped again but um, the bag seeder I have, I won't name a name. I hate it. It's, uh, it's way too hard to control your seed layout and all that. So we're talking to the neighbor right now. My wife is in negotiations with a neighbor. See if they got, uh, just a regular push, you know, like for fertilizer or seed in your lawn or something. It would work just as good, but I don't like that bag seeder I got. Uh, it's going to be too spotty, I think. So, we'll have to 
hope for the best. But that's what happens when you do this for the very first time, you know. You know, learn a lot of things you should do, you shouldn't do, and you like and you don't like. And, well, um, that particular cedar that I've got, I hate it, you know. Um, a couple other guys I know that have them, they love them. Um, I might just not be capable of running it correctly. I don't know. But it's it's fine. Um I was kind of trying to talk the boss into letting me have a pull behind, but they don't give them away either. But uh, maybe next year. But because uh, all we have right now is um, we have just to plant the buckwheat. And um, I'm probably, and I know th there's going to be somebody out there who's like, yeah, that's a bad idea, but I'm going to go ahead and plant my clover stuff right now. Um, I want to draw them in as close as I can, as early as I can. So they get used to coming here. Um, but we're, I also am get, got a line on uh, some uh, broken up. Hey! Sorry. See, always get a puppy. Always, always get a puppy. That's the best thing for you. Um, yeah, that's the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you gotta love them, but oh, what a knothead. Anyway, so um, my brother-in-law works for a company farming up north here ways, and he, uh, he's he got a line on some broken open bags, bags of um, alfalfa seed. So, and I'm going to remain, let him remain nameless too, because I don't, I'm not, I don't want to get him in trouble. I don't think it's a problem, but, you know, you know how people are. So, um, anyway, Karen. we're hoping, yes, Karen's, exactly. <laughs> My wife said it right. There she is. Hi. <laughs> Being a doorknob. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, we're just waiting to see if we can get that cedar. And then uh, I'm probably going to end up having to buy one anyway. My wife just doesn't need to know about every little thing I buy, I suppose. I know she's standing here, but whatever. But anyway, um, we're going to see if we can't get that seeded the rest of the way today. Because, like I said, this is the perfect time for it. Um, yeah, but that's about it. So, uh, have a good one, folks. Um, we'll try and keep you updated today, but there's no promises. It's so hit and miss today that uh, I'd have to do a lot of work, you know, video technology, and not not a fan. So, uh, anyway, like, subscribe, and add a comment. Uh, God bless you all, and uh, hope you have a great weekend.